everyone. I've been working on this painting here and I started thinking as I was painting this tree um, about some of the common things that people run into when painting trees and how a lot of times that our trees end up looking like lollipops or uh, popsicles or triangles or other types of food. I don't know. Anyway, the trees sometimes end up looking a little too symmetrical, too uniform. And so I wanted to do a little quick tips video on painting trees, especially a focal tree. Um, there's one really major thing that I focus on when I'm painting a tree, because uh, I paint these out of my imagination. I don't use reference photos or anything, so, uh, which I think is better because it kind of gives you that freedom to just create the shape as you go and you're not looking at an image and being controlled by that image. So I'm gonna zoom in here and talk a little bit about painting the shape of the tree. Okay, so the tip for today for painting trees is to focus on the edge of the tree and the edges of the foliage within the tree. So when you're creating this first initial shape, um, what you wanna do is try to think that there's gonna be some spaces in between the branches and some openings. Uh, there's not just one big ball of leaves on a tree. Sometimes there is, but there's still those openings and the ball isn't ever just like a perfect circle unless somebody um, you know, trimmed it that way. So a tree in nature is gonna have a lot of variation when you're going along this edge. So when I'm painting this, sh this whole shape here, I'm thinking, okay, I created a space out. I'm gonna keep an empty space in here that goes in, come back out, go in, come back out. And it doesn't have to be perfect rhythm, but if you kind of keep that idea that there's some spacing in between your bunches of leaves coming out, you'll get a much more natural shape to your tree rather than like a ball or a triangle on a stick. So another thing with the edges, and I'm just gonna do a couple here. Um, as you go along the edge, you don't want a sharp edge. You want a, little, a lot of little broken areas. You don't have to paint every single leaf, but if you find an edge um, that's kind of sharp, like we'll say right in here, this is kind of just a too sharp of an edge. What you can do is just kind of take and do some brush strokes to break up that edge. And that way now you've got more of a leaf look rather than like sharp edges. And that's really important as you go along the edge of the tree is you want to keep that edge broken up. So if you find an edge that's too uniform, you just go in and break up the edge by you know, throwing some random brush strokes. And it takes some practice to get the brush stroke down, but I don't really paint individual leaves. What I do is uh, I kind of just paint shapes. Sometimes an individual leaf pops out of it. But as long as it's a broken shape going all along the edge, you're gonna get a much more natural look than the ball or the triangle on the stick. So just to recap, the tip is when you're painting the shape of your tree, make sure you have areas that go in, some spaces, some holes to the background where you can see through the tree and you're gonna get a much more natural look. Then on your edge, try to avoid flat, sharp edges and break them up with little individual leaves or splotches that break up that really uniform pattern. If you look at this tree line here, which is very impressionistic, just a silhouette to give you an impression that there's these layers going back, you got hills and then the hills get bigger and then you get the line of trees. Even this line of trees has the broken edge and there's not really any individual tree painted here, but you get the sense that it's trees because you have this really natural, there's openings, there's variation. It's not just a straight line across. The, even the edge here is broken up. Uh, so it's not just this really sharp flat edge. And that's gonna give you a much more natural look to your trees, even tree lines, individual trees, um, whatever. As long as you have those edges really natural, you're gonna get a good look to your tree. So that's my quick tip for today. I gotta to get back to painting this painting, uh, but it just came to me while I was painting it that I should do a quick tips video on the edges of trees. Cause that's 
kind of a common thing that I see uh, with doing my online painting lessons and workshops is people have a hard time sometimes getting that really natural edge to your tree, which is really important to make it look natural. So if you have any questions, you can visit my website, www.timgonier.com. I have a large variety of online painting lessons there, oil and acrylic, so I've got something for everybody. Um, I also do in-person workshops, so I might be heading to your area soon. So if you're interested in that, you can also check out my website. And as always, if you found this video helpful, please feel free to share with your friends. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you again soon.